here, my lord. Ah, the wind is blowing. Now is the time to attack. We shall win. Fine, let's go. Are you actually asking me to attack my own family? You must obtain Shu, or you cannot stand against Wu and Wei. What? But that is against all propriety. If you do not, Cao Cao will surely prevail. Neither propriety nor justice are served. Still, to secure the future of the land, you must fight. <laughs> <laughs> what a strange forest. So this is Lu Feng Po, huh? What a strange place. Lord Lu Bei, Zhu Ge Liang. I can go no further. Wow, look at all of this food we got here. This should take care of Sun Jian's food worries. wonder how our lord feels. Hard to say. Well, I'm sure he's not jumping with joy. What about you? Are you saying you don't want to fight? No! I have to fight! For the glory of our lord! For that, I shall use! Would gladly give my life! Good for you! Well... What do you say you and I help our kind lord into the seat of power? Hmm, I don't like the looks of this place. If we get ambushed... Good grief, this may be trouble. So this is it, huh? All right then. The ships have all been chained together. Good work, everyone. That went quite well, if I do say so myself. But this battle is far from over. Now, the difficult part begins. Surrounded at fallen Phoenix Hill? The enemy seems to have a sense of humor. The problem is, I have no intention of falling just yet. I'll see you on the other side of the hill. Well, well, well. It seems that this place marks the end of my journey. Zhuge Liang, if I too were a dragon, would I have flown higher? Uh, I think I'll just sit down. And rest here a while. I am not traitor. Poor thing. That truly is a face that only a mother could love. Still, you shouldn't let what others say bother you. There are more important things to be done, eh? 
Keep fighting, and you'll earn their respect before long. A land at peace is a wonderful thing. But did so much blood have to be spilt? Master Pang Tong, we sure could use a little help over in the fields. My pleasure. Now this is a life that a person can truly be proud of. You're being foolish. You place too much emphasis on a name. You do realize that the land and the family of Liu are not the same thing. You have to stop closing your mind to that. What are you saying? Close my mind? Then help me understand what this road is that I've been following. I have always been proud of my connection with the Imperial Han. It has given me courage and purpose. What road should I take? A man with no name has none. What does a name matter? Now listen. You have before you an even more important road to walk, don't you? Look at the fine men who have fought by your side. Look at the people who have shared your wandering and your troubles. It's not your name that supported you. It is their strength and loyalty that have kept you on this path. Don't you know that? I should know it. They are each like diamonds to me. As you are to them, you shine like a guiding light in all of their hearts. Isn't that enough for you? I tell you, I have difficulty understanding Master Liu Bei at times. I wish a few of those big brutes surrounding him would knock some sense into his head. I understand, but nonetheless... I know, I know. That is why they all follow him. I do feel for you, though, Zhuge Leon. Thanks to his gentle nature, your strategies look especially cruel. I do not care. I will do all that I can. I do not seek a reward. It is for Liu Bei to be loved, not me. Yes. You are right. That is true. Then let us do what is necessary to create the path for that gentleman, and help him change this harsh world of ours. Right, Zhuge Liang? Well, well, well. Look at what we have here. Are you lost? You didn't really think you could pass so easily through a road like this. I work for a greater purpose. It is a purpose that even I will risk my life for. Consider attacking Chengdu, huh? I cannot betray Lord Liu Chang. But my lord, the people of Yi province desire your rule. Silence. My army stays put. That is an order. Now then, I hope you don't mind helping me out, lads. Not at all! I crush enemy! Well, well. That was tougher than I thought. Pang Tong, what have you done? Thank you! My lord! What is this? Hear those voices, my lord? The people of Yi province are happy. These people... They were waiting for me. 
Go on. Go to them. Excellent! This is... You... You're hurt! Uh, it seems... I'll be making my exit... earlier than planned. Duga Liang. It is in your hands. That poor girl. A political marriage like this will be fraught with pressure. <sighs> you don't see as much as you think you do. Just take a good look at them. Those are the faces of young people in love. You be happy. Excellent. You might be right. from this terrible war. Oh, hooray for Lord Liu Bei! Hooray! <laughs> Master Liu Zhong, I'm... Don't go feeling sorry for him. Hmm? <laughs> Listen carefully. The people are happy to be your subjects. A benevolent man would go to them. Pang Tong! Uh, the battle went well, at least. But as for myself, it looks like I misread the remainder of my life. But if you were injured, <laughs> why didn't you say? Uh, 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 my lord. Let me take this chance to speak. There are times when it can be best to hide your true face. No matter what happens, you must keep showing the people a benevolent visage. Enough. I understand. Say no more. Yes. This is my final lecture. Fly high, my lord, to the very top. Ah, ah. No! You shall not escape! Worry not! <clears throat> let them go. <clears throat> what do you mean, let them go? Giving chase now will only play into their hands. Huh? <sighs> Exactly. Well, we'll be going then. Yes, it is time. Huh? Hold on. Go where? <laughs> Just a little trip to Fawn Castle. <sighs> you have defeated me. Come then. Take my head. So kind of you to offer. Mind if we leave it attached to your body, though? What? What do you mean? Come to Shu is what he means. Where do you think you are going? Hmm? Oh, yes. Looks like you found me. 
There's something bothering me about the path of our march. I need to look at it. That horse. Master Liu Bei lent it to me. With Hexmark, I can get back here quickly. All right, I'll be seeing you. That horse there! That's him! That's Liu Bei! Loose the arrow! It's just as I thought. Master Liu Bei cannot be allowed to pass this way. Hang <laughs> on. You are my phoenix. You and my dragon are my guiding lights. You must guide and support my benevolent world. I know that, Master Liu Bei. <laughs> All right, Hexmark. I empower you with the wings of a phoenix. Fly us back swiftly to Master Liu Bei. Look at the marks! On that horse, it's Hexmark! That's the invader Leo Bay! Shoot him! Fire! <laughs> My goodness, did you cast a curse on me? on this. I still have so much that I really need to do. But fine. If this act saved Master Liu Bei, then I am satisfied. Still, the fledgling phoenix falls on falling phoenix hill. It's just too poetic.